Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC Garage. And today I have my um, HSP rally car right here. Uh, there's a problem with it. It doesn't shift into second gear. So today I'm going uh, to take you guys with me on finding out why and maybe fixing the problem. So let's get to it. Alright, so right here is the... Um, the spur gears and then in that little hole you can't see anything in there right now but that's how you adjust it so I'm gonna take it outside show you guys like what it's doing it's just basically not shifting but I'll take it outside then we'll come back in and try to adjust it and just try to fine-tune it so that this thing shifts into second gear so let's get outside all right guys so I think I found an even bigger problem um, so this car like a little bit after I broke it in and stuff, um, it started getting, it was starting to get like hard to tune and, um, and also it ran kind of hot. Not like, like, uh, when you don't break an engine and right, like it runs very hot and like you can't tune it at all. It doesn't start like this thing still starts it fine. But then when it's kind of hard to tune and, um, also it, it runs a little hot so one day I was you know trying to tune it and stuff and every time I'd um, like pull this I could hear I, it's not doing it right now but I could hear the um, like there's bubbles like in the in the carburetor or something so I was like that's weird I don't know why I didn't put it together but I think what's wrong is I have um, a leak or something right in there so that's why it's always hard to tune because I think it was sucking in air through there and um, the needles like it kind of wasn't doing it. that's why I was also running hot because I was sucking too much air so and then I tested it right now um, I turn it on and it run fine and then as soon as I'd spray brake clean right there turn off I don't know why that does I thought it'd rev higher but every time I spray brake clean and right there um, it turned off so maybe that o-ring's bad but I'm gonna go in or maybe it's cracked I don't know maybe I need a whole new carburetor hopefully it's just an o-ring that's bad um, I'm gonna go back into the garage and take it apart and see what it is so hopefully I could take this off, um, maybe bad o-ring or it's cracked, you know, because it's plastic or something like that. And that's why I have bubbles. Like, I've never had that with any other carburetor. I had bubbles, like, showing up right here. So every time I'd pull on the pull start and it'd suck in air, it'd suck in from here and show bubbles at the top. So let's take this out and uh, see what is actually wrong with it. So I think it's just that nut right there, that golden one, and I think that's pretty much it. And then I have to, you know, take off the fuel line and take off the servo link. But I think just that, and that holds it in, and so I could take it out with that. So uh, let's try that. All right, so I took off the O-rings on the carburetor. They're right here. Um, they, they're not, like, ripped or anything. Um, they, seem, they do seem a little thin, so maybe that could lead to... An exhaust leak an exhaust leak um just a, a, a leak in general and sucking in too much air and stuff like that so I think I'm just gonna replace them and then put it back install the carburetor back in the car and see how it does after that all right guys so it is better with the new o-ring um, but I think I need a thicker one because it's like this it's the same size o-ring and like same thickness but I think I need a thicker one so I'm going to go, it might be actually the one inside. It might not even be this top one. I think I need a thicker one inside and on the top one. I don't know. We'll replace both and see what happens. All right, guys. So I think I fixed the, the carburetor and the leak and the issue and it was sucking in too much air. I think it was just that top O-ring. I just replaced that top O-ring, put a thicker one in. And now when I spray the brake clean, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't react. It doesn't, um, so like the first time it just cut off when I spray the brake clean there. I don't know why. Second time it like kind of stutter and then turn off. Now when I spray it, it doesn't do anything. So pretty sure I fixed the carburetor. Now let's finally get to what I said in the beginning of the video. Let's uh, um, 
get to the two speed. All right, so I'm gonna show you what it does right now without touching any of the transmission, without doing anything. Do not hear it shifting at all. It's not shifting. All right, well, it didn't shift, so let's go adjust it. See if we can adjust it, make it shift earlier. All right, so there's that little hole there, right at the top. And I just need to stick an Allen wrench down there, um, try to line it up and uh, back it off a little bit to loosen the tension on the spring. And uh, then we'll take it back out and see how it does. All right, so I adjusted it. Let's go. I wish, so I, this is from John Jones. I saw him on Steve-O's podcast, the one that you were on before. Uh -huh. um, it was interesting, Steve kind of was like really awesome. He really hates me. He hates me like that. That's not even like pushing it. Just like, just like, So he was already in a press conference, and he did right then and Still there. Still not negotiation, shifting. Negotiation had to start. All right, I adjusted it again. Still not shifting. Had to loosen it up even more. Alright guys, well I took it, I loosened it and it didn't do anything. I don't know what's going on with it. Um kinda sucks. Cause um it was cool when it shifted into second gear, but I mean, I guess I don't need it to shift in second gear that often because it's not like I'm going to go do like speed runs and stuff like that, but um, I kind of wish it would uh, shift. I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't feel like taking it apart because it's such a hassle to put back together, but I mean, it works and at least I figured uh, I fixed a carburetor issue, so I think that's gonna be it for this video guys sorry I couldn't get the two speed to work I don't I don't know what's wrong with it I adjusted the screw um, I loosened it a lot it still didn't shift you know I kept loosening and loosening and it didn't shift so I don't know if it's stuck the spring is stuck or something but uh, yeah um, that's gonna be it for this video guys I hope you guys enjoyed make sure you leave a like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching